Okay, what we're gonna talk about now is the transmission differences. A lot of questions about repowers, about velvet drive cast iron, about if you can switch rotations and so forth. So I'm gonna to try to walk everyone through uh, the different transmissions and what you can and can't do. Okay, first of all, this is a 1018 model. Uh, it happens to be a 2.91 to one velvet drive cast iron transmission, okay? This is, happens to be in here for rebuild. It's frozen forward gear. It had a leak, all the fluid ran out of it, and it's frozen forward. So it's actually gonna be good for demonstration. All right, the tag is located right here, all right? You can see it says it's a model 10-18-012. The dash 012 is the ratio uh, part number, but the 10-18 means it's for a big block uh, engine, okay? This happens to be off a uh, Merc Cruiser. I think it's out of a big C-Ray. Now, the pump. There's always uh, controversy, questions about the pump. This is the front pump, okay? You can see here at the top, it says top right on the pump. That This is the uh, brake line here, okay? It says top and it's got an arrow pointing this direction. That means this pump is indexed for right hand rotation. Obviously we're looking at the transmission, so you gotta look at it from the other way, but the flywheel is turning that direction. Marine rotation is always viewed from the flywheel end. Okay, so the engine is spinning right hand. This transmission is set up for that. Now, down here at the bottom, uh, if we can see it, it says top going the other way. Well, obviously if we wanted to set this up for left hand rotation, we would remove these four bolts and we would spin this pump 180 degrees. And then that arrow that says top pointing towards our right would be up here. See, it'd be exactly opposite, okay? All this is for is to pick up fluid. Uh, it's, it's basically a 50-50 shot. When you bolt this transmission up to a right-hand engine with an index like this, if everything's right in the transmission, it should have pressure, about 100 PSI is what velvet drive pressure is at the uh, line port, okay? If I guess wrong and I have this arrow like this and I have it on a left-hand rotation engine, I'll have three neutrals. It will not engage. So that's all this does. This does not change rotation. So when you flip this from engine, you know, to a right hand to a left hand engine, that's all you're doing. Here is a pump out of a 1017 small block or 1018 big block, okay? What we're, it's a garroter style pump. What we're looking at here is the gland. This piece here is the gland, okay? We have to index that gland. So when this gear is turning, if it's turning this way or that way, depending on what the crankshaft's doing, this intake part of the gland has got to be at the bottom. So when we flip this up, we'll see that this pump here, this is an older casting, it flat out says up, okay? Up to the left, all right, which would be for right hand rotation. Right hand rotation, this would be down, see? Pump going this way, boom, the fluid's already sitting here, that's what builds the pressure. The other way, boom, goes that way, see? When I flip it up. And the up arrow is pointing to my right or for left hand rotation. Like I said, that's all you're switching. You, as you can see, it's got nothing to do with the way this shaft turns. I'm spinning this shaft here, right hand, okay, for right hand flywheel. See how the output shaft is turning right hand, okay? If I go left hand, all right, if I put it on a left hand engine, that's the way the output shaft turns. Doesn't matter. Okay, now there are two ratios you have to be careful about, all right? And they are 1.91 and 1.88 to one, okay? Happen to have a big black engine here on the table, uh, and it happens to have a 191 ratio transmission in it. You can see the tag, okay? 1018-006, 1018, big block, 006, the ratio. This transmission is opposite. What I mean by that is this engine is a left-hand engine, okay? So it's spinning this way, okay? Or I should say uh, this way, okay? That's the flywheel. But the output shaft spins right-hand. So this boat spins a right-hand propeller even though it has a left-hand engine. Cast iron 1.91 and 1.88 to one are the only two cast iron transmissions that do this. So it gets kind of confusing because what happens is if you've got a twin engine boat and you have a two to one nominal ratio, which is what a 1.91 or 1.88 to one, that's very close to two to one reduction. See, the right hand rotation engine would actually be on the port side. 
So not always is the right hand or opposite rotation on the starboard side. So it gets confusing. I've seen people install engines backwards and all sorts of stuff with these things. So it is confusing. I'm trying to deconfuse people here a little bit. Okay, now that we've got the velvet drive out of the way, let's talk about the ZF or the 63 series, okay, or the 630. This is a ZF transmission. This is very, very common, uh, basically in every inboard boat uh, from 93 and up. Uh, when manufacturers got away from left-hand rotation, or excuse me, right-hand rotation engines, uh, these down angle transmissions is what most of the boat manufacturers and engine manufacturers went to They're actually a really nice design because now it takes a lot of the guesswork out of everything All right, you can see here that these transmissions only accept a left-hand rotation engine. Okay, look ZF here They're pretty adamant. It's just got an arrow that's casted right into the housing. They're saying look this way only guy Otherwise three neutrals. Okay, so this transmission will not work on a right-hand engine all right, they're also giving you a second warning right on top of the case. Look, arrow this way, okay? They're telling you, look, engine's gotta go that way. The down angle is built into the transmission. You can see that, I know it's sitting on a bench here, but uh, the input shaft is pretty straight and there's about a seven and a half down angle on the output shaft. So it's already pointing a little down, okay? The engines pretty much sit level in the boat. This transmission, you can safely go either direction as long as you have a left-hand engine. So this way is one way, and this way is the other way. And the output shaft will change from either right-hand or left-hand. So this transmission uh, is, is good for either rotation. A Velvet Drive 5000, which I don't have one here in the shop right now, is very similar to this. Uh, it operates in the same manner as what I've described here. What I'm going to show you now is the actual clutch differences. All right. This right here, this is a forward clutch pack out of a 1018 uh, transmission. Uh, you'll, it's it's uh, 13 plates, okay? There's seven frictions and, uh, or excuse me, six frictions and seven steels, okay, is what makes up a 1018. So a total of 13 plates. A 71 series or 1017 is only nine. It's got five and four, okay? So that's the difference. So it's just less holding power. This is a reverse on a 1018 or 72C, okay? There are three total plates, two frictions, one steel, all right? On a small block, uh, it has one less friction, okay? So we lose some holding power in reverse. This is why you can't switch rotations on a cast iron transmission. You go from this much holding power Okay, and again, I'm, I'm illustrating a big block here. Small block's a little bit less. You go from this much holding power to this, you know, paper thin, that's it. So if you flip the transmission to the reverse position and go forward, basically, or at least the boat's going forward, the first time you throttle up, you're done. You better call Boat US, you're, you're getting towed in. That's gonna be fried up. On early 71C transmissions, this is the reverse plate, just one fiber plate. This is old school. This is in the 60s, real early 70s. But that is reverse. The piston goes up against this, locks the drum, and you're in reverse. Absolutely nothing. Can you imagine throttling that up on a real boat? <laughs> Done. All right. This right here is a Velvet Drive 5000 input shaft. All right. Uh, I don't have this transmission picture, but this is a guts of one. This is a transmission that can go either direction. All right. Look how tiny the plates are in this thing. I mean, compared to a velvet drive, you know, forward, these things are small, but there's 10 of them, I believe, all right? So, and it's much higher pressure. These things operate about 300 PSI in forward gear. So they've got tons and tons of hydraulic pressure to keep these babies locked up. So you can see it's got a lot more holding power, okay? Even though they're smaller. A ZF, this is a ZF clutch pack, a little bit bigger compared to the velvet drive. Okay, velvet drive here on my left. This is a 630 or 63 series zero, that red transmission uh, I showed you earlier, okay? These are five plates, all right? You can see that uh, both in the forward position and the rear position, or uh, reverse position, um, or left hand or right hand, I should say, that these are the plates, okay? They're designed to go either way. So 
I just wanted to give an explanation of why you can and can't do some things. And I hope this cleared up uh, some uh, questions and hopefully alleviate some problems in the future when you consider a repower.